Today we are looking at a video from an absolute legend. Mike, he was a RPS contractor. He was FedEx ground before there was a FedEx ground. He's been making these videos for a while and if you want really good good detailed information firsthand watch his stuff it's a great perspective on the ground industry and he's out now i believe he's sold out retired but i love his stuff never had the opportunity to talk to him or meet the guy but hopefully one day he has a video i haven't watched this one this is tips on buying fedex ground routes in 2022 now i know it's going to be line haul related and so let's take a look Hi, I'm Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. A uh, big shout out to anybody who actually understands that reference. I imagine it's only those kind of older millennials like myself. And if you do get it, find me at an event and I will buy you a Jaeger bomb. That brings back some rough memories. Atlanta, late 90s, early 2000s. Moondogs, hole in the wall. Good times. All right, let's start back from the beginning. That was exciting, but all right, we're for real this time. No disrespect to Mike. Great guy. Hi, I'm Mike Jones, back with some more tips on getting a FedEx ground contract. I'm a 34 year veteran of FedEx ground. Actually, I started before it was FedEx ground with a company that was called RPS, which was later bought by FedEx and they changed the name to FedEx ground. I started in 1987 and I retired in 2020, or I sold my company in 2020. So you do the math, that's 34 years. And I sold those companies, and I say companies, plural, because my wife and I had multiple contracts. The number one thing I wanna start with is, don't always rely on going through a broker. Brokers are gonna get their fee, which is gonna be a substantial fee for selling the routes that you're looking at because the existing contractor is their customer and they're going to have the price up there so they can make a good lick and the contractor can make good money. Now these contracts are expensive nowadays so don't think that you're going to be able to go, go in and get one at uh, rock bottom price. Although there are some if a person is in distress somewhat it might sell it a little bit less, but the uh, marketplace right now is uh, pretty good. I probably could make more money in today's market just a year later than I could last year. 2022 was an exciting time. Things were booming. People were coming in, really getting a sense of, hey, wait, wait a, minute, a minute, I could own FedEx line haul routes. What's that about? They learn about it. And so we got a lot more buyers in. What I'll say is that things aren't as good in early 24 as they were in 22, but there are less businesses available to buy on the line haul side right now. Less good businesses available to buy. Supply is the lowest that we've ever seen. Maybe it's ticked up a hair since a couple of months ago, uh, peak season 23, but in January 24, it is a harder market to get into than it was in what he's talking about. If I were trying to sell because the price of routes have gone up. But even more. that being said, don't always rely on just going through a broker. Next, do your due diligence on whatever contractor that you're gonna be trying to buy out. I get phone calls, texts, and emails all the time asking me if I think this is a good deal or that's a good deal. Not all routes are equal in performance. Line haul routes will vary in mileage. Line haul routes will also vary in consistency, and this is a very important issue. A dedicated Volume. route will be worth a lot more and is more consistent than a route that's running wild on the extra board. Also, dedicated routes will not have the downtime that the extra board runs have. With a dedicated route, you go to a specific location where they may call it a meet point or you may go into a terminal. Generally speaking, you'll have very little downtime before you continue back to your original location or your domicile. With an extra board run, you could get to a terminal and have to sit 24 hours before you get anything else to return. That's time that you do not get paid for. Your driver does not get paid for it. 
your truck is not making any money. Unless you choose to pay your driver for it. And if you are choosing to run those extra board and in what we're talking about in 2024, the URRs running spares teams a lot more seldom, but he's talking about sitting for 24 hours. It's going to be a team. If you're going to location and sitting, you're going to almost have to pay those drivers something if they're sitting for that long because your competition is. Downtime is costly because it ties up your equipment, manpower, and making you zero money while you're sitting still. Remember, if those wheels aren't turning, you aren't making any money whatsoever. So these are important things you must realize while you're analyzing routes that you may want to purchase. Where should you go to look for routes? Number one, you should check out buildagroundbiz.com. This is the official FedEx Ground website that they post the new runs that they're making available. On this site, it also tells you how to become a FedEx contractor. Study these documents and fill it out and see if FedEx will contact you. I have heard from numerous people, people that they don't get a reply. So, I mean, this may be true. I personally have never had Wor to go worse than 24. Process. So I can only tell you what I'm hearing in the background, that it is tough to get information back from FedEx at this point. But I would still try to do this if all possible because this is the cheapest way of doing this. This is 22 when he made this video. Don't waste your time in 2024. I just made a video that we posted about free routes and it's not happening. There are too many really, really good contractors with a four or five SRS that are desperate for the runs that they're posting on build a ground biz. The very few that are there. Why? Because we're not running spare tractors. And so people bought these trucks, all these trucks that we were running, we got REL trucks that were very expensive, uh, brand new trucks. And we bought trucks and now we're not running them because of the extras of spare trucks we got that we intended to just run. We're not running them anymore. And so what do we do? Well, we still want those runs. You can either sell the truck or you try to run the truck. What's the best way to run the truck? Get the free unassigned run rotation runs it's why we're seeing a value in the unassigned runs it has risen people are buying them more i'm buying them more i'm buying urrs where i never thought that i would ever want to touch that nonsense again but i got trucks that i'm trying to get moving and they're running very well surprisingly well so his information is just it's older but just to kind of highlight where we are today number two answer some ads from brokers but remember they are working for the contractor, not for you. You are a potential lead or buyer for his customer, so don't get swept up in the sales pitch. This is the easiest process to become a contractor, but in no way is it the cheapest. Number three, if you decide to purchase an existing contract, this is where you will have to do your due diligence to the max. Ask all the pertinent questions. How long has this person owned this contract? Some people are just buying in quickly and selling out quickly just to make a fast buck. Don't get caught up in this Done type it. of sale. Try not to buy from someone that has not put at least a minimum, in my opinion, five years into the business. I get it. I understand exactly what he's saying. I respectfully disagree. When it comes to the sales, right? How long have they owned it? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. What are we buying? We're buying that contracted route from FedEx. So if somebody's owned a Schedule A dedicated run for six months versus six years, there's no difference in how I'm going to buy, how that run's going to perform for me. It might perform like trash and it might be perfection, but however, long they owned it, it doesn't make a difference for me. Now we'll say, well, if they've owned it for six years, we can look at settlement statements and see that they're running for six years. Huh. Yeah. Talk to a lot of people with assigned runs in 2023 and see how those performed versus previous years. I don't care what something did in 19, 20, 21, 22, and even 23 doesn't matter to me. What's it doing right now? And during the limb meeting, when we talk to the manager, how are we locking down that information and saying, Hey, 
What's the volume like on this run? What number are we on the board? Is there any chance that this could get changed to something else? That's information we want. So I understand people want to buy businesses. They want that longevity, but it doesn't matter to me. I'll buy, if I'm a brand new contractor, I'll buy runs that the contractors only owned for a couple of months. They said the business wasn't for them and they're moving along because it doesn't make any difference to me because I'm not buying a business. You're not buying a FedEx line haul business. You're not buying a FedEx ground business. You are buying the contract contract from FedEx on specific runs. You're buying a couple of runs that make up a business and you're going to run those runs however you choose to run those runs, however makes the most sense for you. But because of that relationship, it doesn't matter if the ran runs have ran for six months or whether they ran for six years. There's no difference in the value of those runs. And I'd love to have a deeper conversation with anybody on that topic. And maybe you can convince me that there's another angle to look at that from. The horror stories that I have seen personally with the inexperienced person that buys what he thinks is a well-established business only to find out too little and too late that the routes were not consistent as they were led to believe. <laughs> yeah, uh, come by these four unassigned team runs, Mr. New Buyer. They're running great for sure. They're going to continue to run smooth. Look, they've been running smooth for the last uh, four years. Okay. Number four, I can't stress this enough. Dedicated routes are way more valuable than the extra board routes. Don't get caught up in the numbers of how much routes make if they are not guaranteed dedicated routes. Dedicated routes have way more value than the extra board routes. This is insane. Yeah, every nugget he dropped was just so money. Mike phenomenal dude if for some reason you ever watch this i appreciate all of your content i've learned a ton from you myself i'd love to talk to you connect with you on our podcasts great video and if you're watching me watch this video just go watch more of his stuff i'm not gonna redo every one of his videos but they're all just banging videos and with that that's about it thanks